did you see anything in the quarterbacks today that you hadn't seen all spring, either plus or minuses? I think we saw some things that we hadn't seen before in terms of ball placement, and then we saw some errors that, unfortunately, that, that, that are all too familiar. Um, so I think there were some strides made, uh, but clearly we're not there yet. We've, we've got a lot of work to do uh, with all of the quarterbacks to get them to the level that we want. And we have a high bar set for them. So, uh, yeah, I saw some things out there that they hadn't done in the past, but yet, you know, uh, two interceptions in particular um, where, where we've seen that movie before. So we, we've got to move past that. And what was your thinking in bringing Gunner in just for the second half? Well, we knew he was going to get all the reps in the second half. We wanted to make sure that uh, we got a good rotation and then Obviously, we can't run everything with Gunner at this point. Uh, he just doesn't have the knowledge base. So from that standpoint, we gave him all the reps in the second half and, and got him an opportunity to really feel you know, like he was part of the game. Specifically, could you comment on uh, Golson's game? Uh, he had two touchdowns and I think the most yardage. Was that something you expected or, or is that kind of, kind of a surprise for you? Yeah, I, we, we come at it from different perspectives. <laughs> The stats really don't mean anything to me. Um, what I didn't like is it, you know, he, he's got to get the plays in quicker. He's got to recognize the singling. Um, if I'm not out there getting guys set and making sure he knows what to play, he, we're going we're gonna to have flags thrown all over the place. So um, those things really don't mean as much to me as, as they do uh, managing the offense. And, and uh, we're making progress there, but we're, we're nowhere where we need to be. Coach Tyler, I forget it. Had a, a good game here today. Can you talk a little bit about moving him around, not just in the tight end position, look like he was out wide at the time? Yeah, you know, obviously he's a guy that, that uh, has to replace the, the, the production loss of Michael Floyd. And to do that, we've got to be able to get him into some favorable positions. And obviously he's not going to lock down just at the tight end position. He's a guy that, that can play it both as a wide receiver, heck, he could play running back if we needed to. So he's an incredible athlete. He's a versatile player, and so we're going to take advantage of that skill. Ryan, up front, getting back into Golson, you mentioned throughout the spring that you know, it's up and down. You're trying to string good days together. Was today indicative of his spring performance, or I mean, was it a little bit of a departure uh, from what you see? He, he, he uh, you know, the quarterback position, as I mentioned to you before, is, is the art and science, and, and, and bringing both the art and the science together is very creative. The art part, he's got down. It's the science and the, and the consistency, all those things um, to be a championship quarterback. You, you can put him in the same category uh, as, as, uh, as George Atkinson. You know, both of those guys are exciting, electric players, but they are a heart attack for me. Um, you know, so we got to get them there because I think we all see that they've got great skill but they are guys that are work in progress. You're seeing work in progress. You're seeing something very exciting, but I think we all could sit here and agree. We've got to get them to manage the, manage the game, take care of the football. If they do that, they can really help our football team. A position.